So I'm out here at a job today in Penshurst for a customer who's with Superloop. Uh, they're on NBN HFC service. Actually, what speed to you? Uh, 50, 550. He's on a 500 uh, download, 50 upload plan. Now, the customer has been having uh, intermittent dropouts um, that's affecting the way that he sort of operates his business. Um, he does Google Meets quite a bit and he's getting a lot of uh, dropouts on his Google Meets. Also, he's got a unified um, Dream router and that will monitor his network and he's getting packet loss quite consistently here. Now, we just spoke to his ISP, who is Superloop, spent probably about half an hour on the phone with them. He's done a bunch of tests um, and basically saying they done some sort of a port reset probably about, was it seven days ago? No, a couple of years ago. Oh, a couple of years ago? Yeah, no, it's been so going on for ages. They've done, this, this has been going on for about 10 years, right, this problem. Um, but they did something about, when was the thing they did recently and it said, that's why you're saying you can't do anything, because they did something. Well, on the 7th, they did, MBN did something. So much. MBN, apparently MBN did something on the 7th of January um, and Apparently it, it cleared it. So as far as MBN's concerned, the problem doesn't exist anymore. But in the last 30 days, the Superloop guy just basically said, oh, we can see you had nine dropouts in the last 30 days. And because he's only had one dropout in the last seven days, he doesn't, um, he's not eligible for MBN to uh, come out and to see what the problem is. Now, a couple of things. Uh, firstly, the cable that comes from the utility box on the side of the property is coming directly to here, right? So there's no other splits, no other nothing. The, uh, there was, a, at some stage, there was a, a splitter out of the utility box, but that's been disconnected. The other two cables are just swinging in the breeze. They're not actually doing anything. So I've noticed a couple of things out in the outside that could potentially be the issue. Well, I'm almost guaranteed there to be the issue. Um, so I'll take you out there and show you those now. So this is the utility box here on the uh, front of his house. Now, as you can see, this is a super old one from Telstra back in the day. Um, and look, one thing, I just changed uh, the compression end over because it had an old one, well, I had one on that a Sparky had put on and it wasn't actually the proper one, but I've just replaced it. But that wouldn't have been the issue. But this isolator um, is pretty old. And if they've had like some sort of a lightning strike or some sort of like a high voltage thing come through here, sometimes what happens with these things is it can not completely, uh, you know, act like a uh, fuse. It might not burn it out all the way inside, but you'll still have sort of some issues. So it can be an intermittent thing. So we have told Superloop that this is really old and this needs to be replaced. Um, so that's one thing. The second thing. So the tap um, here in the street, as you can see, it's very rusted. Right, we've even got like the heat shrink splitting off uh, the taps. Now, I'm almost certain that this is the problem here, this tap. Uh, you can see this is an old one. This has been in probably since Foxtel was put in in the 80s. Uh, it's a bit of an old girl, right? And um, a lot of times when I run into these problems, uh, generally it is the tap that is the issue. Right, so as you can see, that this is not directly at the front of his house, it's the next pit up. Um, but yeah, that tap is super old. So I've just pulled that heat shrink back a bit and you can see the actual corrosion uh, where it's screwing into the tap. Right, so that is like corroded. Now the customer is saying that the majority of the time, this is happening a lot when it rains. Um, and so that would make sense why this is rusty and why when it rains, he's probably getting more problems than it doesn't. And then when it, he said it also happens when it gets hot. So what happens is you can see at the bottom of this pit, right? It's actually damp, 
right, and quite moist. And we've got a lot of rusted stuff in here. But what happens is um, these are supposed to be self-draining, these pits. So when we get a lot of rain, these pits will actually fill all the way to the top with water, and you'll get water popping, it, you know, spurting out of the top of them. Um, and they don't, the water doesn't dissipate properly, right? And then what happens is when then the water does finally subside and we get a hot day after that, it becomes very humid inside these pits. And that's probably why when he's having a hot day, um, he's having issues. And when he has a rainy day, he's having issues. So I'm almost certain that this is a problem with this tap. So as you could see from that, um, that pit, uh, it's not conducive to have like rusted ports and corrosion on that stuff. That's, I'm almost certain that's why now. So we've been on the phone to Superloop, but the guy was helpful, but he's, you know, restricted to what they can do as far as MBN. Um, so basically he's saying that they can't get MBN contractors to come out here unless he's actually having more dropouts than he's got. So he needs to have consistent dropouts before MBN's actually going to pull their finger out and come and do something. So we've asked him, the guy from Superloop, to uh, give us an email summary of the phone call uh, that we had. Now, he was on the phone doing some testing, come back, so yeah, I'm going to write the email, basically just hung up, hung up on us, um, hasn't called us back. Uh, so... This is going to be escalated to the telecommunications ombudsman. So we are going to write a report. So that's why I'm documenting this and doing these videos because we're going to write a report for this customer and uh, try and escalate this and go uh, you know, around Superloop and actually get this to happen. So this has been going on for 10 years. You know, It's just far too long. And um, MBN, you need to pull your finger out. So just while I made that last video, uh, the guy from Superloop actually just got back to us. Um, so he is going to try and raise a ticket with MBM, but he said there's a chance it might not be successful. So yeah, they did call us back. Um, so I just needed to make that amendment. Um, and yeah, he sent us through the email, uh, with a summary. So pretty good. Well done, Superloop. Uh, now we just got to get MBM to do their job. Hey guys, it's, uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up, like a bridge tap, or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video, um, and you can click on those links and I'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.